down front. Michael Pina, Vice Sports. Uh, Kyrie, you've been one of the most efficient ISO scorers in the NBA since you, since you were drafted. Um, do you feel like you're playing your best one-on-one -on -one right now as you have at any point in your career? I just think I'm seeing the floor a lot better than I was in my younger years, um, you know, or pr previously before we had the team that we have now. Um, there's a lot more spacing, um, understanding where teams are coming from, uh, to double team or come over and help, and just watching a lot of film. Um, it's just dedicating myself to the game. Um, you know, not cheating it, not trying to skip any steps. Understanding that um, you know every game that I get a chance to go out there and play, um, it's a chance for me to continually get better, um, dominate, and um, you know in any facet of the game, and, and as well as lead my team and uh, do whatever it takes. So uh, that fearless attitude that I have. Um, you know, it is now, uh, you know, definitely putting me in a position to be successful out there on the floor. Um, but none of that happens without the teammates that I have um, and the unbelievable selflessness that they have. Um, you know, that selfless nature allows me to be who I am truly. So, so just grateful for that. Julian from the Globe, I was just curious, the move that you put on Crowder in the third quarter, the spin into the step back, uh, just uh, can you describe how you put that sequence together and, and just where does that come from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, uh, just constantly watching, uh, you know, a lot of guys that have come before me, um, you know, being able to create just enough separation to get my shot off. Um, you know, seeing the way the defense is playing me, but more or less just um, allowing my footwork to be able to make up for my lack of athleticism that I have at the rim or, um, you know, some of the speed that guys may have on me or some of the aggressiveness that they that guys uh, try. And, um, you know, just a, just a lot of dedication, man, a lot of hard work to it. But that sequence is something that I've, I've worked on plenty of times. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm glad that the shot went in. Uh, the move doesn't mean anything unless the shot goes in. That's one of the things that my dad always told me. Um, you know, you could have a $5 million move, but if you have a one-cent finish, then, you know, who cares? So um, the importance is utilizing the moves in the, at the right time, um, you know, and just seeing the, the weak side action and, uh, you know, just having your head on a swivel and just being complete, especially in those situations. Down front. Mike Petralia, WEEI here in Boston. Kyrie, you talked a lot about after game four about the why that this team has, the <clears throat> purpose that you guys have. And I'm wondering, from the point where you were down 10 points at halftime of game 10 to any point tonight during the game when you were running away, I was wondering in your mind how all of that changed so quickly. Uh, well, in game three, I knew that if we kept it within 10, um, you know, a, a surge was going to happen. I wasn't sure when, um, but I knew that, uh, you know, I had to make the conscious choice to, to really lead our guys, uh, understanding the, the situation that we were in. Um, and, uh, you know, just telling, you know, myself before I told the guys about our why, which is trying to make it back to the finals, um, you know, we cannot come back to Boston 2-2. That's, that's one thing that can't happen for us. We cannot come back here 2-2 and then we're on an even playing field. Um, so the importance and the magnitude of that of that moment was definitely captured by my teammates and myself. And um, you know, you look back on it, and it definitely helped us grow as a team and mature. So that's something that we needed um, ultimately to lose Game Three in the fashion that we did, um, in the way that Boston challenged us continuously. Um, we needed all that uh, to propel us to this moment. And uh, there are mo more moments to come, but we'll be tested, especially on the West Coast, playing against a great team like the Warriors. So um, it was great for us. And, um, you know, we're happy <clears throat> with, uh, you know, getting back to the finals, but we're definitely not satisfied where we are. Mark. Kyrie, Mark D'Amico, Celtics.com. First and foremost, congratulations on getting back to the finals. Thank you. Um, and secondly, you just touched on the challenge that the Celtics did present to you guys. Can you just speak now that the series is over on what takeaways you have from your opponent? I mean, well, you, you have to commend them for uh, accomplishing what they did, especially in the regular season. I mean, the, the goals that they set. They were definitely challenging us, and it made, um, you know, the league turn for a little bit. Just, you know, one versus two, two, one, and who's going to get first place and who's actually ready for the playoffs. And that, that makes basketball exciting. 
um, that makes the league exciting. Um, you know, in the fashion that they were playing basketball, it was at such a high level. Um, and, you know, honestly, we didn't want IT to go down. But, I mean, the way that guy has played, it, I mean, the way he was playing, is he's deserving of all the credit that he's that he's gotten. And, uh, you know, as well as guys like Jay Crowder and Avery Bradley and Kelly Olenek and, you know, just all their guys, they're just dedicated to basketball. <laughs> they're coming out and they're hitting us and they don't care who you are. Um, you know, I was watching before tonight's game, the game that they played in Golden State, in Golden State, in the way, in the fashion that they did that. That was the testament. That was the turn of how special they could be. And they made it this far. And it was one versus two. And it was a matchup that, uh, you know, we were all looking forward to. Um, and I'm glad that we prevailed. But they tested us every single minute. And we needed that. Left side. Kai, Mike Singer, USA Today. Uh, I'm wondering if this conference final title feels any different, given that you played the entire season as the hunted, given that you won the championship last year and people are gunning for you this year. Definitely feels different. This is uh, one that I can really put in the memory bank and and, <clears throat> and be proud of up until this point um, because I, I finally got to play majority of the games in the regular season and be challenged every single night. And then the final three – three weeks of the season as well as round one was some of the toughest basketball that, that, I, that I had to play. Um, so, you know, it's definitely one for the books for me um, up to this point. So, Last question here on the right. Jared White, CLNS Media and Celtics blog. Kyrie, do you feel that you and LeBron have kind of reached a level of synergy now that you can't really be stopped anymore? <laughs> uh, are you asking about our relationship? Oh, on the, okay. I felt, I felt, okay. Yeah. I, okay. Well, uh, you know, as you can see in our uh, in our play, um, especially in his play, I mean, he's been the driving force this whole entire playoff run, um, and all of us have just really helped him along the way of being just the teammates that that we're supposed to be. Um, you know, especially when a guy is playing unbelievable like that. I mean, he shot 13 for 18 <laughs> and had 35 points, and you know, as as much. Uh, you know, criticism as a guy takes. He just he continues to perform and continues to come back and come back again and again and again, and that's the echo of greatness. And when you're around that, you have you have a choice: either you can kind of sit back and you know just you know just watch and, and observe, or or you can pick your game up as well. And I think that that synergy is coming along the way. And uh, in our beginning stages, I think that we didn't want to step on each other's toes because of how special uh, we both are and, uh, and the other pieces that we have on our team. And uh, that's a hard balance to figure out. Um, but the special ones figured out. And I'm, I'm just eternally grateful to have a guy like that, as well as K-Love, Tris, and JR, all my teammates. But when you look at how this team is run and, and who are the driving forces behind it, it has to be myself and Brian. And we understand that, and it falls on our shoulders as well as everyone else. Um, but we have to carry it. And I accepted that. And he knows I'm preparing every single day. And I'm dedicating myself every single day to this game. And I'm leaving it all out there. And I expect the same from him. So um, when you get to that level of trust um, and you allow him to, or you allow someone to come into you know, a friendship that extends well off the court, and you understand how great this era can be if we are selfish to the point where we don't, we don't think about anything else except for the greatness of our team and what we can accomplish. So we stay in that moment. We're, we're very special. So. All right. Thanks, everybody. Yep. Thanks, Kyrie.